Interesting you're a coward. No, you're, you're just a troll. You What's your, your the point? Arab culture is beautiful. Yes, it is. It's, it's beautiful it's because of the Islamic culture. It because of Islam. Argument, Even Jesus is Arab. What okay. are you talking about? So let me let me reply. I listen to your point. All right. All right. What's your name? My name is Abdul. Nice to meet you, Abdul. My name, my name is Paul. Right? So firstly, just as a point of fact, I have to correct you. Jesus was a Jew. He wasn't an Arab. Right? Yeah, but Arab, wait, 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 wait. I didn't that, interrupt. Abdul, I did not interrupt you. Listen to what I'm going to yeah, say. All right. listen, Even won't, you won't know that the Arabs are descendant of Ishmael all right. and the Jews are descendant of Isaac. And so, and so, and so Jesus was a Jew, not an Arab. That's your first correction. Right. Your second correction is that Arab culture is more beautiful when it's Christian than when it's Muslim. How do we know this? Oh. How do we know? Let me give you an example. Okay, okay that's fair. Lebanon used to you be a Lebanon used to be a Christian yeah. Arabized culture. Okay. And when it was majority Christian, yeah. it was the Singapore of the Middle East. Oh. Since it became majority Muslim, yeah. what does it look like now? Okay. The Syrian Christians are an example of a Christian Arabized culture. Beautiful it was, beautiful. Right. But now look, uh, look at what it became after Islam. It became Arabized. That's the first problem. Well, like Qatar, that's a the la country, ladies and gentlemen, Islam, this and kind of this, guy, like, this just, I'm going to raise my voice respect, because of it. it. Right. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, you know right. this is idea of Arab supremacism that is spread. What, by Islam what, is something that we should all reject, ladies no, and gentlemen. Not, what do you want to say, Abdul? So Sorry, it is Abdul, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah go on. So basically, you're talking about like when was Lebanon uh, Christian? Yeah. Yeah. When was? Get that water. Go on. I'm Drinking. listening. Okay. First of all, I'm smelling a smell of weed. Over no, no, yeah. sorry. No, no, no. There's a smell of weed over here. No, no, no. Smell I don't of know. weed? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean it's weed? Not him, it's probably someone I don't weed. know. Yeah. All right? That's relevant. Yeah. There's first of all. But secondly, you, th there's a difference between the Islamic culture, the, the Arab, and Jews. Jews are a religion. Arab, ethnicity. There's two different, yeah? We've got Arab Jews, not the one in Israel. We've got one in Yemen, not the Israeli one. They are new from America, from Germany, they come. Okay, first of all. Secondly, Lebanon, if you look for 50 years ago, look 70, 60 years ago. Why are you saying no? Do you know? You just not in your head, you don't know. Have you looked 70 years I, are ago? Are you finished, Abdul? I'll let you finish punching another I'm, I'm, I'm asking you a question. Yes or no? Have you looked 70 years ago? Okay, I'm going to reply. Okay, so firstly, yeah. I've got to correct Abdul again. So the fact is, the Jews and Judaism are both an ethnicity, a race, and a religion. And what he actually referred to were not Arab Jews, but Arabized Jews. You see, the brother doesn't understand that Islam in its history, 1400 years of history, has been a supremacist, imperialist, colonialist religion As is Christian. that has destroyed, Oi. that has destroyed Oi, the native cultures, bro. the native, yeah. now notice the Islamists were silent when the Muslim was speaking, notice he was silent when the Muslim was speaking, notice he was silent when the Muslim was speaking, so ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the Islamists, Finish. Thank you. What, for four hours? There you go. See? Yes. Thank you. Notice he was silent when he was speaking. That's, that's Islamist supremacism for you. That's Islamist supremacism. Nobody has the right to speak but the Muslims. Now, let me address his point, Abdullah's point. Because Abdullah has skipped over the fact that for 1400 years, Islam destroyed the culture of the Assyrians, destroyed the culture of the Jews, destroyed the culture of the Copts, destroyed the culture of the Nubians, destroyed the culture of the Berbers, destroyed the culture of the Kurds, tried to destroy the culture of the Armenians, tried to destroy the culture of the Georgians. Wherever Islam has dominated, Arabization has followed, ladies and gentlemen. And so when he claims that Jews, uh, you have Jews who are Arabs, he's lying to you. 
You have Arabized Jews, like you have Arabized Copts or Arabized Assyrians, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, so that's the first lie burst. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, Islam, I, I want to talk about, I'm not trying to peddle any myth that says that Islamic civilization never accomplished anything. That's a lie. And anyone who says that is lying. No, it's actually complicated. Islamic quite a lot. civilization. Notice, 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 again. notice, notice he's interrupting he's again. Notice the Islamist is interrupting again. He's not bad. Wait until he's done. Wait until he's done. Would you just want to talk? Wait until he's done. Basically, I wait until he's done. I'll wait, well, I'll, wait I'll wait until he's done. 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 i will wait until he Literally, just block, him out. Can he? just block him out. Just block him out. So, ladies and gentlemen. Away. So, wait, don't run away. No, 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 I'm right. not running good. away at all. Good, good, good. No, right, no, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, no. Ladies, no, no. ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. The reality is, ladies and gentlemen, that if your civilization has been built upon the destruction of everyone you oppressed, whatever your achievements are, the rest of us are under no obligation to celebrate it. The Assyrians, the Nubians, the Berbers, the Copts, the Jews, none of them need to celebrate it. And notice, he said the destruction of other cultures was good. And that is the problem with Islamist supremacism, ladies and gentlemen. He said it was good, ladies and gentlemen. I say it is evil that we should all oppose. Yes. And that the people in Egypt deserve their freedom. And the people in Iraq deserve their freedom. And the people in Lebanon deserve their freedom. And the Kurds deserve their freedom. And the Berbers deserve their freedom. And the Sudanese deserve their freedom. Go on, you're a No, I'm having a talk. Have you read your book? Our book, there's nothing that says we have to demolish, all right? But your book has said, I don't know, but kill, kill a woman or they are compared. No, no, no. no, no, no. Keep going, bro. Just came back around. Trust me. Peace, Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Bro, 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 talk to me, Abdullah. Abdullah, talk to me. Talk to me. Make your point, Abdullah. No way that we enslave people. Go on, bro. There is even a bigger than a address board. Abdullah, you've interrupted. You've, you've given it gone. Finish your point. When you when you compare a woman with uh, donkeys and that stuff, what are you talking about? Right, ladies and gentlemen. Why are you interrupting me? La ladies and gentlemen. No, why are you interrupting me? When that guy was interrupting me, he was talking. You talked to Bob, he was lying. No, the police going to reveal it. not lying. Go, go, go. go. go on. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, he tried to say that have you read your book? Your book, your book teaches you to destroy other people. But there's nothing like that in my book. Nothing. So I'm going to challenge him to show me a verse like I'm about to read in the Bible where it says this. Fight! Everybody say fight! Brother, guys, you just no, I even talk to you, brother. There you go. There you go. Look, he's running away. He's running away. Listen, fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold back the bidden which Allah hath forbidden by Allah and his message, nor acknowledge the religion that is running. He's running. He's running. If you can stop running, go to the other land. He's running. No, no, no. Bye. He's running because he can't meet the challenge. He can't show me a verse like this in the Bible, but I'm going to read it. Listen. Listen to what it says. And by the way, guys, you gave him his way out. This is why you shouldn't talk to people yeah, in the debate. Listen to what the verse says. It says, fight those who believe not in Allah nor the last day, 
nor hold that forbidden which Allah hath been forbidden by Allah and his messenger nor acknowledge the religion of truth from among the people of the book as Jews and Christians until they pay the jazia with willing submission and feel themselves subdued that term subdued could also be translated as humiliated put your hand up Christians if you want to feel yourself subdued under an Islamic state put your hands up if you are against the idea of being subdued in an Islamic state I'm not Christian. so there you go the verse does call for the oppression of others